Welcome to this Australian College video on SME Server. What we're going to do in this is actually have a look at configuring some of the services within. Now to do so, um, there are two ways of doing it. One is via a web browser and I may do a series of videos on that. Uh, in this series we're going to have a look at just using the arrow keys, tab keys and your keyboard itself um, to actually access Server Manager. Now, as you can see, simply the up and down arrows will let you go through the various choices. But let's have a look at accessing Server Manager. Now, as it says, the option, this option will start a text mode browser to access the Server Manager. Um, now, normally you'd access it from a web browser, and it'll actually give you the address there. Please note that your one would be um, https colon forward slash forward slash the name of that you have given your machine forward slash server manager forward slash okay now I'm going to show you how to use um, just the arrow keys and your tab keys uh, to be able to perform simple administrative tasks so we're simply going to click on yes okay it says welcome to eLinks okay and it'll give you the option for um, documentation now the admin password must be used using the down arrow you'll pop in your password and hit enter okay. and this will bring up the server manager screen now to move yourself through the server manager screen I am simply using the tab key at the present time once I go into an area such as, as this area over here if I'd like to go down I'm simply using the down or up arrow keys Okay, and if I want to bring up that screen to the right hand side I'll use the right arrow key so for example if I want to go to users and refresh the screen I'll hit the right arrow key and that brings it up as you can see from this screen you can actually scroll down quite a large way Okay, and it will bring information up for you um, there are a whole range of different screens and settings that you can use you can manage your domain, you can manage email settings, host names and addresses, okay. you can go through add printers, your LDAP directory, even change your work group settings, you need to configure your date and time, all of the things that you might need okay, to play around in a normal environment. Now, one of the things that we will look at in the, the next video is actually going through and setting up users, groups, and quotas. I hope you've enjoyed this short video from the Australian College. Thank you.